So let's look at something a little more detail here. We want to find the indicated angles here. Now we're going to have to use our properties of triangles and we're going to have to think back to uh, what we know about triangles, all the angles that up to 180 degrees, um, and work with that. Now we have a number of triangles in this picture. So we want to start labeling some stuff. Now the first thing I'm going to do is look at what we're actually asked. It says find angle BAC. Now angle BAC, what that does is that we start at B, you go up to A, and you go back to C. That's what this notation is, BAC. So we're looking for that angle right there. And that is determined from the notation, BAC. So angle BAC, we have to look at the rest of our triangles to figure out what it is. So now the thing you're going to find about geometry too is the calculations aren't going to be hard. The math is going to be rather easy. It's mostly addition and subtraction. But what we have to do is be able to look carefully and, and see these angles. So we're trying to find this angle here. So let's look at the whole triangle BAC. We know this angle down here is 80 degrees. We know this angle down here is also 80 degrees. That goes the information that we're given. If these angles have to add up to 180, 80 plus 80 is 160. That tells you that this angle in here is 20 degrees. From triangle ABC, that's going to have to be 20 degrees. And it's a good habit just to write the information on your picture. Well, now we want to find draw angle EBF. So EBF. So we start at E, we're going to go down to B and across to F. So we want this angle in here. So really what we're trying to find is this angle right here. Now we've got to think. The angles on a line all add up to 180 degrees. From here to here is 80 degrees. So that tells us that this angle in here must be 100 degrees. That angle right there is going to have to be 100 degrees. So let's look at angle BFE. Uh, BFE. Now, what we're going to do is actually change this because that we don't have enough information. This triangle is a little inaccurate. So I'm going to change this to not BFE, but angle BEC. So let's find angle BEC. So angle BEC, that's just going to be BEC. So we want to find this angle right in here. Well, we know that right here is 80. We know right here is 50. So that tells us that this angle right in here has to add up to 180 degrees. Uh, 180 minus 80 is 100, minus 50 is 50, so this angle right in here. And again, you can see I'm just doing the calculations right in my head because it's simple addition and subtraction. Angle BEC is just 50 degrees. And we're also going to change this angle to angle BDC. So angle BDC. What angle is that? D, D, C is the angle, so we want this thing right in here. We know this is 60, we know this is 80, 60 and 80 is 140, so that tells us that this angle right in here has to be 40 degrees. So, and we could go find other angles if we want to in there, but it's just about recognizing those triangles recognizing which angles you're looking for, and then doing your calculations from there.